Great. We are ready. Ready? <laughs> yes. So welcome to Vertical Future. Um, we are a uh, urban farm, so we're based here in Deptford in South East London. We've been using this firstly to learn all about vertical farming and understand the processes, the concepts, the, the differences between lighting, nutrients. And we've also been uh, growing our mini crops brand. So mini crops is a brand that we sell. Um, we sell it into lots of different London restaurants, but we also sell direct to consumers as well. Um, so, this is a very peppery taste. Thank you. So it's quite peppery. Mm. Um, so we sell, ooh, it's about 50, there's over 50 um, different microgreens in these punnets like this. Um, but we also sell them uncut. Um, so I can show you how we go about selling yeah, them. Yeah. yeah. So come through, but it will pop up and then spread out to fill the whole map. Mm -hmm. um, so this is spinach seed, and then with clean dry hands, we essentially sprinkle. Do you think you'll ever be able to do root vegetables this way, like carrots and potatoes? And we have been looking at doing carrots. So yeah. We actually do carrot leaves. So this is these are carrots. Oh wow! Um, that we've got growing at the moment. Um, and if I pull them out, you'll see you see the roots. Carrot. Doesn't look carroty. <laughs> but if you want to taste one, yeah. you can eat the whole thing. Carrot. It's got a fragrance to it. It's like, mm, it tastes like carrot, and the aftertaste is like carrot. It tastes like grass. <laughs> you think it tastes like grass? It totally tastes like carrot. <laughs> so, how come it's pink lights that you use? So, they're not actually pink. It's ultraviolet. This is an ultraviolet. So, if you look under the, 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 the light spectrum that you can see here, it's actually about 70% red, 30% blue, and that's right. why it looks sort of pinky purple. And the reason it's pink is because so we're standing by the window here, and you can see that this parrot is green. <laughs> and the reason plants are green is actually because that's a light wavelength that they're reflecting, yeah. so they're not using it. So we are more efficient in our choice of wavelengths than we give them. Get rid of the green. So we don't give them green. Mm. Um, but we do give them red and blue, and that allows us to be more efficient with the, the That's so interesting. That's really interesting. But you mm -hmm. can give them little bits of other wavelengths. So you can drop in a little bit of UV, you can drop in a little bit of like so yellow. Mm -hmm. and it changes the flavour, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it changes the flavour, right? Yeah. And I guess, is that the most more energy efficient for you as well? Yeah, so by essentially by making sure the plant is using 100% yeah. of the light that it receives, you're being mm -hmm. more energy efficient. Yeah. I can take next door and take to show you some of the other yeah, plants. That'd be cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Is it quite strong? Is it? Yeah. I won't tell you what it is. Why? Okay. Because I want to find out right, what you show think. Show the camera then. It. It's very sweet. It's very sour. Mm. It's like orange. You get an orange. Sure, you get an orange. Yeah. Probably because of the colour of it. Mm. Tomato? Apple? Apple. Let me try a little bit. Let's try this. I've never eaten so many flowers in my life. What do you think? That's quite, is it almost citrusy? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. got a citrusy zest to it, hasn't it? Yeah. Now, as much as we enjoyed trying the different edible flowers, the reason why we came to this vertical farm was to see for ourselves how farming is being adapted to suit future needs. As the population continues to grow, the demand for fresh food in our cities is going to increase, and it is likely that this style of farming is going to become much more popular in the decades to come. Let us know in the comments on what you think of this kind of farming, and don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much to the team at Vertical Future for showing us around, and thank you at home for watching this video. We'll be back next week with another episode of Going Green. Until then, goodbye.